out here sending smoke signals with the wild wind outdoors. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> We're going to be teaching y'all how to clean a frog. And uh, prepare a frog. Catch a clean cook if you would. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take your pocket knife. Now, I have killed him previously to this, but uh, what you want to do is you take your knife, you make your little slit, you go up your leg, keep going up that leg until you get at the certain desired point, which would be probably about right there. Grease may be getting too hot. Huh? And then you come around, you stick your stum thumb in there, voila. And if your finger's too slick, what you do is grab you some catfish skinners, put leg down, rinse and repeat. Oh, smoke's good to my eyes. You're going to have to take it off for a second. Or you're going to have a grease for it. Be careful, it may be hot. Yeah, it's... Take your cloth over there. There should be some old pants. Yeah, hold the frog. That easy, don't tip it. Set it right there. You can let that smoke, that fire burn, burn down just a little bit. But, uh... Are you skinny? Yeah, like I said, come around, around the knee, take your thumb or pinky or whichever finger you want and come around. Like that. Now this one ain't quite big enough, but uh, you know, on some of the great big ones, they get, yes, they do get bigger than this. <laughs> You can eat the front legs. The front legs on this and they ain't quite there, but you just do the same step. Now that we got that done, you come to the leg, the foot, you cut right there, here. Cut the tendon. Toss the scraps in your bucket or to your cats, your chickens, pretty much whatever eats meat. And then you come right here where the legs bend. You cut down and around. You don't want, want to watch the guts. This is the beginning of the guts right here. So Then you cut. You twist. And there's your head. And there's your juicy frog legs. You toss the head. Split straight up the middle with the legs. You know, get it nice and just give it a nice little twist and it comes apart. Now what you're going to do, you're going to have your flour, all your seasoning, they're already done. And I put a little bit of Cajun seasoning in there. You're going to put your frog legs in there. I'm nice and battered. You can dip them in milk or an egg yolk. Make them nice, more crispy, and more better than what I've got them. But you know, got some nice flour on there. Let me grab our skillet with grease. Is it too hot? Let's do it over. 
burn. Let that grease reheat. Let's see if that grease is ready. Put a little bit of flour in there. That's not quite there yet, but no. I had a fun frog hunt with uh, Arkansas Wildman Survival here up in them ponds. We don't catch them big, big, big swampers, but uh, we do occasionally. So occasionally, catch them nice and about like this. Some of them smaller ones people don't even recognize, and they'll let them grow. But some of them smaller ones they tender. That way, it don't get in your. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't hot enough. First leg going in. You can put both of them in. You right. got room. I'm gonna go hopping though. That's smoking my eye. <laughs> oh, oh, we got moving. Yep, they're, they're moving the skillet. Like these frog legs were caught not even an hour ago. Or uh -huh. so. Did you bring a fork? Yeah, nice. No. Okay. Yeah, my battery ain't standing on there like I wanted it to. This is should have brought some milk or an egg yolk out here. Now they say frog tastes like chicken. Now that different people have different taste buds. For me, it don't taste like chicken. It tastes kind of like fish. What about you, Arkwall man? Uh, yeah. Puppy. I ain't got close to mine, too. There you go. Them dogs treat y'all today. Huh? They like to play with you, don't they? Yeah, they like to play. Hmm, that one's got about the size of a squirrel leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're in the line of fire. But yeah, a few more months and it'll be Arkansas squirrel season. And uh, a tree behind us is an mulberry tree and I'll do some squirrel hunting videos. Why are you and the cats? They're nice to you on video, but once that camera goes off, they... They're always nice to me. No, like, Tom, you know when you're skinning fish? Oh, yeah. They're right in the way. You go to move them here. Ah. You can take and uh, rebatter them and put them back in if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. okay. Two. Kind of like a double batter. Whoa! Quit! Please, for a second. Since they're kind of wet with the grease. 
No, my hand is not a toy. <laughs> now that's hot, Blue. Ain't too hot with the grease, but uh, I mean wet with the grease, but uh, well, where she was going. I'm packing in there. Better. Usually I don't do this. Usually I cook an egg and stuff. Yeah, it's just gonna wash off. Open my hand, you unreal. Yep. Let me tell you about how that done. Pretty close. What, you want to let them cool on that? Yeah. Yeah, to get them crispier than what we got them, I just dip them in some egg yolk or <laughs> some milk. No, 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 no. My eyes. Trying to catch me off guard and be a little thief, thank you. Trying to be a little thief. Mm -hmm. That's your leg? Mm -hmm. No. Blue. That's some nice white meat in there. <laughs> Having some frog leg. No. No. You have to watch him. My leg. Sneezing in could have been better, but. I don't know, delicious. Ow! I can't feel too much. No, don't steal my knife! No! Hmm. I'm not fucking up. Don't bat me. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. I could have battered it a little bit better and had it hmm. a lot tastier than what I got it. No! Here. Good. No. Mm -hmm. Don't get on the computer, little girl. Here. Get back. Don't worry about what she's got. What well, I use on my frog legs is uh, Slappy Mama. Wouldn't take your skillet off before you do that. I use Slappy Mama and other assorted Cajun recipes. If pretty much anything, it's got a little bit of Cajun in it. Good to use on frog legs. Sending smoke signals to your squall while wind. Yeah, nice white flaky meat. Nice delicacy. Catch this. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> there. I'm about my leg. But yeah, in a survival situation, 
and it's in the spring, summer, where they go hibernating in the fall and through the winter. And these are good sources of protein, and they're abundant. Thanks for watching this edition of Arkansas Wild Man Survival and Wild Wind Outdoors. God bless you and you'll have a good night. Well, good morning now. Yeah, good morning.